Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Right, follow up to uh, yesterday's video uh, where I um, attempted to penable my wife. And uh, during that video, for those of you who've seen it, and I'll pop a link up here. Um, basically, we went through several of the pens that I've got inked up at the moment and wanted to see what she thought of them. Um, it turned into quite an interesting experiment and it certainly made me think about uh, why I actually enjoy using fountain pens because clearly they're not for everybody. Um, and in that video, at one point in the video, uh, I handed her my Montblanc Turbo, this pen here, or what remains of it, and um, it broke. I'm not blaming my wife for that. Um, I do believe that it was probably a manufacturing age defect. This was a vintage fountain pen. Um, and what happened, basically, trying to uncap it and the cap came off and took all of the section with it. And um, I'll go through the, uh, the autopsy of this, uh, this pen in a moment. So, yeah, the pen is now broken and I see absolutely no way of fixing it. So, if you've got any ideas other than just bin it, uh, please do let me know in the comments down below. Um, so, what has actually happened to this pen? Well, the cap, it's a pop-off cap. And the section where it uh, basically joins with the barrel, it, it, it literally just sheared off. Um, you can see what's left, try and get this to focus, see what's left of the uh, section there, as you can see it's completely, it's, it's, it's just sheared off completely. Um, I did manage to unscrew this part of the section, which are the threads which go into the barrel here, um, but I have been completely unable to get the section from outside out of the cap it's well and truly it's, it's, it seems to be stuck in there and i can't get enough purchase on the um on the plastic of what's left of the section to actually remove the nib unit and what, what's left of the section from inside the cap so no hope of sorting that out I did think about somehow gluing this onto there um, and hopefully that would allow enough purchase to uh, to actually withdraw what's left of the section, but I suspect that that is not going to work uh, because there really isn't a lot of material there. There's not enough surface area to actually um, grip onto there, and it's it's no longer a um, what you uh, suppose there just isn't any way of um, of getting this to stick to that, and it's it's just not going to work. So. It's unfortunate, but um, I did put the link to that video, um, and I'll put it in the uh, description down below as well. did put the link to yesterday's uh, video with this breakage um, on various Fountain Pen Network Facebook uh, pages or groups yesterday, and one person did actually comment, and they said that they had had the same problem with their Mont Blanc Turbo, and it had sheared off the same as this. They contacted Mont Blanc and said, can, can you fix it? And unfortunately, Mont Blanc said, no, it's not possible. And we don't have any um, spare components for the Mont Blanc Turbo either. So, yeah, basically, it's an in-the-bin job, um, which is unfortunate because this was a very nice pen. I like the, uh, I like the design of it, um, and it wrote really, really nicely. It had a really nice broad nib um but there we go first of my proper fountain pen casualties uh the only other pen i've broken in my fountain pen journey so far has been um a jinhao 51a uh that i dropped on the floor of the lab and it, it cracked the uh barrel still usable it wasn't a major issue and i still use the pen but uh it uh, unfortunately does have a hairline fracture in the uh, in the barrel material so there we go that's what happened um and i don't know if i can do 
very much to extract that or fix this pen. I did even consider see, seeing if I could find some other section that might even fit in there, but once again I can't even uh, remove this. Uh, I suppose the only option would be perhaps to try and get some sort of tiny cutting tool or something in there and try and saw out a section from the section <laughs> so that it can be withdrawn more easily. But there we go. Live and learn. And I'll just screw that back in there for what it's worth. So that's what happened. There's the update. And um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I shall see you next time. Bye.